Banning abortions does not actually ban abortions. It just makes abortions less safe. You can't stop someone from having an abortion. Also, figuring out whether someone actually had an abortion or if they just had a simple miscarriage is really difficult, okay? It's kind of difficult. You, you can't figure it out. What's to say that this person drank a lot of fucking alcohol and that's why they, they had an abortion, a miscarriage, right? What's to say that uh, they, they exercised too hard and that's why they had a miscarriage? So that kind of criminalization is literally anti-women. That's it, okay? Anyone who tells you that, like, anti, uh, the, the, the pro-life people are actually pro-life are fucking delusional, psychopathic morons, okay? You're either a fucking idiot or you're the biggest piece of shit on the planet. It's, like, well-established. At this point, it's literally as well-established as, like, having a fucking stance on slavery, okay? You should be able to straight up say slavery is bad. If you have this opinion like, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, no comment. Then, yeah, you're pro-slavery. Fuck you. Same with this, okay? When it comes down to it, with abortion, if you have an opinion on whether or not the government should be able to control this medical procedure, you're a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Your mom is a piece of shit if she feels that way. Your dad's a piece of shit if he feels that way. Your uncle, definitely a piece of shit regardless. Most uncles are. Sorry to the uncles, okay? I'm not an uncle yet, but when I am an uncle, I will also be a piece of shit. But listen, listen. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, the idea, the notion, the, the attitude of like, oh, let's fucking spare people's feelings and act like this is an intellectual conversation, that an intellectual back and forth is completely idiotic and completely unproductive. I hate everyone. I hate the fucking Republicans, obviously, who are uh, capitulating and also mercilessly and viciously uh, creating a process. Um, mercilessly and viciously creating a process in which they are able to... Um, uh, to, to, to undermine the majority's will, okay? Fuck, motherfuck the Republican Party. The Republican Party, which uh, is operating on just pure spite politics. There's nothing, there's never going to be any material solution for the, uh, for, for the working class from the Republican Party anyway. They're purely on vengeance politics, purely on spite politics. All they do and care about is actually harming the marginalized communities so that, uh, you know, the, the, the Republican base feels like they got one on them, you know what I mean? Feels like they're, you know, I might be living in West Virginia and have no teeth and haven't had a job in fucking 25 years because industry failed us and left us behind. But hey, at least the homosexuals are getting, a, getting what's the, what they deserve, you know, that, that kind of attitude. Republicans are uh, serving, uh, uh, you know, brutality on a platter for people like that. The Democrats are feckless and cowardly and also criminally negligent, in my opinion. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is, like, Republicans being violent and brutal and horrifying so that they can, you know, send me fucking emails like Nancy Pelosi. Stop sending me emails, man. You fucking dumbass. I'm never going to give you money. I hate you, okay? You're such a piece of shit. You're literally making me not want to ever fucking vote Democrat ever again. Jesus Christ, bro. Every time, every time something happens, dude, I swear to God, every fucking, every... Democratic staffer is just like rock hard. Oh my God, did they fucking take away abortion rights from women? I am so fucking hard right now. I could cut a diamond, okay? My nipples are rock hard right now. Holy fuck. Time to do a mass blast of emails. Hey, hey, I know times are tough right now. I know inflation is fucking sky high, but guess what? You should probably give us more money. You should give me, Nancy Pelosi, like a hundred millionaire who has the most prolific, best fucking analyst on the entire planet, best stock trader on the entire planet, Paul Pelosi, right at her fucking heel, and you want more money from everybody, dude. Hey, are you bagging groceries right now for $7.25? You should give Nancy Pelosi money. That is the most horrifyingly awful thing to do. It's so disgusting, dude. I fucking hate the Democratic Party as well. Why do I hate the Democratic Party? They had what, fucking 20 instances where they could have codified Roe v. Wade when they had a supermajority, when they had a filibuster-proof majority, including under Obama. They didn't do that. Ruth Bader Ginsburg could have fucking retired under Obama. Many people were demanding this. They didn't fucking do that because that was sexist, sweaty. So shouts out to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's burning in fucking hell right now. This is her goddamn legacy. Good job, Ruth. Good job, Ruth. I'm so glad that you were like, I won't die. I've only had cancer 11 fucking times. I can just go and officiate a wedding in the middle of COVID as a 97-year-old woman who's had cancer 100 times. 
Congratulations, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Thanks for fucking croaking in the middle of Donald Trump's presidency. That was fucking tight, okay? Thanks for not leaving. Uh, thanks for not actually uh, opening up that seat for anyone else. You know, you were doing some girl boss shit. Congratulations, okay? You're in hell. You're burning in hell. So that's awesome, okay? Woo! Nancy Pelosi will be burning in hell when she inevitably fucking croaks, but evil never dies, unless it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So I guess that that's what happened. Um, also, do you like Barack Obama? Fuck no, I don't like Barack Obama. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Now, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? So Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Nancy Pelosi can suck me. Uh, who else? Who else? Obviously, the entire Republican Party should be, uh, you know... Uh, tried in a totally legal process and actually thrown in permanent jail, under the jail, uh, like literally every single one. There's not a single Republican politician that, is, that deserves to, uh, to, to hold office, let alone breathe fresh air for the rest of their lives. But, you know, most Democrats, too, for the record. Like, I, I, I am, I'm a centrist on this issue. Like, I don't give a fuck. You could put all the fucking Democrats in jail, most of them, and it, as long as you're going to put most of the Republicans in jail, too. I, I'm, I'm in favor of that. Um, so there's that. Um, fuck the Supreme Court, obviously. Uh, fuck this entire system that uh, makes it feel like there is a, a, even a semblance of democracy, even though it's, there's none, obviously. There's not even a democ democratic process in theory. The Senate has inequality built into the fucking structure itself. Obviously, that's the reason why you have California, a state that's more populous than like 13 fucking states combined have the same number of senators. So motherfuck the Senate. Uh, also... Uh, you know, fuck the Electoral College. Uh, twice now, you've had, uh, out of all the, <laughs> almost every single Supreme Court justice that is <coughs> in the Supreme Court currently, um, with the exception of the liberal ones, obviously, uh, were, were uh, appointed by presidents that lost the popular vote. Think about that. George W. Bush in 2000 literally stole the election in 2000 by utilizing the Supreme Court. So that was cool. That was really fun time for the Supreme Court. People that were in, people that were a part of the Brooks Brothers riots on the legal team side are now in the Supreme Court, literally. Shouts out to Brett Kavanaugh, Amy COVID, Amy COVID Barrett. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, even domestically, we are treating uh, American citizens for the most part like, uh, like we treat you know, uh, children in Afghanistan with no fucking care, no no care for their safety, security whatsoever. Obviously not to the same degree, uh, considering that uh, we also steal Afghanistan's money and um, they just had a massive earthquake where a thousand people died and we destroyed their country for the past 20 years. We're horrifying and brutal overseas, but now we're, impl we're, we're basically turning that fucking violence over back into America in more meaningful ways and, and being more horrifying and more brutal to, to groups, to populations that, uh, to, to uh, specific identity groups, to specific marginalized communities that we weren't as brutal to for the past, like, I don't know, fucking 40, 50 years. Things were getting a little bit better functionally, but it's not. It's not better at all. It's really fucking awful. Um, one thing you should never forget is that the moment, the very moment that you fucking take your foot off the gas pedal, these motherfuckers are going to kill you, Okay. That's just the Republican agenda, all right? Uh, Chad, if you have a period tracker, delete it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you live in a red state and you have a period tracker, uh, that information might be used by law enforcement agencies. Not entirely certain how that's going to work for the time being, but uh, that, is a, that is one way that they could track and, and figure out whether you had a miscarriage or an abortion or, or uh, you know, deny you travel or whatever, depending on how restrictive they want to choose to get. For example, if you have a period tracking app and you track that your period is late, like you could, I mean, you could have your travel restricted. You know what I mean? Eventually. Um, there's some ones that only store data on your device. I don't know. Anyway, uh, hold on. Oh, fuck the Constitution, too. Don't forget that. Exactly. Constitution is fucking bullshit, obviously. Uh, kind of hilarious that a bunch of fucking slave-owning pedophile uh, rapists were... Uh, deciding what to do for the for the uh, for the country for forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God, there were robust debates about the humanity of black people. No, there weren't. Doesn't matter. Oh, the overwhelming majority of them were pedophile, slaver, rapists. So who gives a fuck what they have to think? They got owned, dude. A founding father would have a fucking aneurysm and die immediately the moment that they came out of a fucking time capsule if there was such technology. Okay, they would literally start 
convulsing and and uh, and kill themselves almost spontaneously when they walk over to fucking Times Square and then see a Tim Pool ad. You know what I mean? They'd be like, "What the fuck's going on?" They'd be like, "They all oh, black people are walking around. What the fuck is this?" Holy shit, things are so bad. Benjamin Franklin would literally be like, what do you mean? Germans are just considered white now? They're not swarthy? What the fuck? This is, un this is unacceptable. Really cool that those guys, uh, we we're acting. No, you know what? You know what's actually interesting? It's not necessarily that those guys decided our fate, okay? Yeah, they were fucking rapists, pedophiles, slavers, yada, 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 whatever, right? All that stuff, who cares? I mean, it's like pretty basic at this point. Everybody knows that. But it's actually the rapist, pedophile dickheads now in the fucking Supreme Court that act like there's actually a, a, a serious originalist interpretation. Like, we have to fucking look at this piece of paper that I can wipe my ass with as though it's, uh, as though it's like, a, like a biblical document. It's like a dogma that we need to follow, you know what I mean? That's insane, dude. You're a fucking psychopath. You are too mentally ill to be in a position of power. I'm sorry. If you are a Republican, if you're a conservative, if you legitimately think that like the the, the that constitution, that piece of paper is something that we have to literally interpret as like the framing, the original framers attitude and intention, you are such you're you're severely mentally ill. You can't be in a position of power. I'm ableist. I've told you this before, okay? There's plenty of wonderful mentally ill individuals that are in positions of power. This is not one of them, okay? That's crazy. Like, they're literally just saying, hey, we're going to deny a medical process, a medical procedure that you can get, a safe medical procedure that you can get because we just decided that it wasn't in the Constitution. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You know what else wasn't in the Constitution? The internet, dumbass. The fuck is this? You know what else was in the Constitution? AR-15s. If you show a fucking founding father an AR-15, and you're like, this is what people are shooting now? They'd be like, oh my God, that's insane. We should definitely not have that. Like, no one should have that. The founder, the founder would be like, I'm a pedophile rapist, and I think that's unacceptable. That's what they would say. Baby.